Hello friends! Today we build some adorable ornamental stocking hangers. Stay tuned! Alright, so for materials I have several pieces of pine that were cut off from my mission style porch swing that I made a while ago. And essentially all I'm going to be doing is drawing trees on here, pine trees so to speak. And I think I'm going to make the stem a little bit longer and I'm going to um, do a makeshift mortise and tenon into the bottom of these. These were some 2x12s from a project that I cut for Bridget's uncle that I made a mistake on and now I have all these extras. I think I can cut essentially a rectangle out here that's going to serve as the base for these um, trees. So, <laughs> so like up here, that's where the tree would be and the front of the fireplace would be up here. And then I've got these hooks and they would go at the front here. So the trees would add some weight in the back to offset the, uh, the balance with a stocking dangling down in front of the fireplace here so the whole thing doesn't kip over like this. So no plans today, let's just see what happens. Now that all of the trees have been cut in the scroll saw, I'm going to take the 2 by material and run it through my table saw along my fence to see how big of a rectangle here I can get. Then I'm going to take that upstairs to my mantle and use it to justify how far forward or back I need to position each of these trees so that the stocking, when it's on here, doesn't flip the whole thing over. To attach these two pieces, I'm going to glue and screw the tree to the base. Well, after further examination, it turns out that um, these are too light up on my mantel place, so I have to balance these out um, by hogging out some space in the back here and filling it in with a little bit of metal to add some weight. And the only metal that I can properly think of are pennies. This is the spacing that we need to use, but I'm going to use a Forstner bit that's just the size of these pennies. And it has to go as deep as this stack. I've got 40 pennies for each block, and that's what I can do. So these turned out super cool and they are way heavier than I was expecting so they will have no problem counterbalancing all the stockings.
Stocking hangers can be as ornate or as simple as you want to make them. We like to stick with the tree motif in our house, but I've seen them as complicated as even having a picture frame here with family members. Uh, and of course, you could paint these or you could uh, bedazzle them with other sort of Christmas decorations, but I wanted to keep it nice and simple, drawing the attention to the color in the stockings below them. Uh, my mother-in-law actually made this for me. Uh, it was one of the first things when I became part of the family. In fact, I don't even think Bridget and I were engaged by the time that I got this. So stockings are very special. They've been a special part of my life since I was a little kid. My mom always filled my stocking with goodies. Um, the holidays are just a wonderful fun time for me personally and for my wife and I'm sure they will be for our family in the years to come as well. So do you have stocking hangers like this? What do you use to hang your stockings? I'm curious. Let me know in the comments section below. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. While you're here, please be sure to do yourself a favor and subscribe. I've got over 150 videos. I'm sure there's something you're bound to like. And I've also got a Patreon page if you'd like to contribute directly to the things you see on this channel. So, until next time, bye!